Welcome back to Leicester Down Under. Really happy. Another great win. Determination, a bit of grit. Uh, people complaining, saying it's an ugly win, and this tippy tappy football. Oh, mate, I would rather have a win, you know, just twice, you know, us, this game and against Coventry, you know, conceded. Didn't have the uh, horrors of last season with this complete collapse and everyone panicking and this negative football and passing around like it's a hot potato and no one really wanting to grab the game by the scruff of the neck and then letting all these goals go in. I would rather, you know, show have this character building, you know, ugly wins early while uh, Enzo is still developing uh, his players, all these young guys, and we'll get into that later. But I would much rather that than, you know, have a few wins, you know, 3 nil or not, whatever, get, you not get tested. And then once we do fall apart, I, I would much rather these uh, kinds of wins. And I think it's a really positive, to be honest. So first half, uh, insanely uh, dominant with possession. The stats overall, I believe, were 66% for the whole game. But I would love to see the stats for that first half because that was just insane. And um, what a strike from... Uh, I'm going to butcher his name, Macho Madaverdue. Oh, awesome. Great to see. Moment he's dreamed of, and you can see his confidence and how happy. He was grinning ear to ear after that goal, and it was really great to see him get stuck into it and just take that extra touch. And, uh, yeah, it was really good and um, good to see. And still think um, it would be nice to get another right winger, but he seemed, Enzo seems to be developing him and McAteer nice. And um, it's good to see the Youth Academy players get in and... Um, you know, I would much rather them develop under Enzo what he's so uh, what he's been brought in for. You know, been apparently instrumental the Manchester City Youth Academy and um, dealing with the young players there in the under twenty threes, I believe, or twenty ones. And uh, I think that, and I touched on this briefly. Um, Enzo Maresca didn't get a preseason and the players that he wanted at Palmer. I believe he came in later or midway through. So. Wasn't given a proper chance, and uh, I, I think that this is perfect. He's got the players he's wanted in, and so far, and it's been great for the, uh, the people that we've got in too for the championship. It's been an absolute hack, but I'm not complaining that we are the PSG of the championship. But anyways, back to the first half. I'll talk about that later. I've got another tangent. Uh, do a great goal again. Mavadidi. Awesome. His ball carrying, he's, he's, he's got a little bit of flair to him. He's, he's amazing. He's dribbling, getting the ball forward. He does create a lot of chances. Definitely could see he, he missed a couple. I believe it was Kalechi fed him a beautiful ball, but I, he's really important. Um, so can clearly see uh, his value to the club already and he, his confidence and he's doing the dog's work. He's running back and doing the defense if he needs. Like The man's got three lungs. Uh, I, I really rate him. Uh, Madsen Manson. He is almost like having a spare centre back, and that, that loose man at the back. He, we haven't seen a keeper like him come as forward as he does, and allows us to play with that back three with Ricardo Pereira working as a inverted wing back. And uh, I think it's his ball distribution is so important of how we play from the back. And uh, don't really give him, don't really slate him for that goal that went in like. Not many people are saving that. Though. That was an absolute rocket from like Aaron Ramsey, like fair play. And uh, he redeemed himself with the second uh, shot and goal from Ramsey. And then he put it in the right-hand side. I think he's, it was a belter save from Mads Hermansen. I, I rate him heaps, and I think he's going to be a great keeper. And he's only like he's 23. He's only young, so definitely, uh, definitely going to be our number one. And uh, that really ties into how I think Enzo Maresca knows what he wants with this club. We all thought Everson was going to be in, but clearly not. And I'll get into the bench later. But first half, excellent from Matt, uh, Matt Samantin. Kalechi still dangerous, almost like that false nine. Getting in deep. Uh, great ball distribution if you need to setting other people up or himself. Was unlucky to uh, not get um, the few shots he had on. But, you know, I think once they, one goes in for him, they are all come flooding in. He's going to be, I think, an absolute gem this season. Uh, unfortunately, the the goal that Aaron Ramsey got was all kind of started from a error from Keenan Drewsby Hall. Not his greatest game, but 
I really think he's a confidence player. You know, when something goes right for him early, he tends to get better as the game goes on. He is definitely a confidence player. Um, second half, a few times, there was about an 8 to 10 minute window. We got, I think it started with a Callum Doyle uh, fumble. We lost the ball, and I believe Wout Fay is not long after that. And had a bit of a panicky moment, and I thought, oh, here we go again. It's going to be like, you know, that panic, hot potato passing back all the time at the back. No one wants it, but no, we stayed composed. So that's great. Uh, we didn't concede, and uh, we come to our sub. The man we all thought was going to star, uh, Ch- Chizar, Cesar Cassade. Uh, everyone, I actually like had to reload this because my stream cut out, so I had like a full out blown borderline, well not really, but like panic attack, trying to get this thing back on. And when it, I got back on, the goal had just gone. It's like, oh, what happened? But I replayed it, and um, he took his opportunity, and um, he took it well, and uh, good on him. And they're talking about getting him in. He knows he needs to be in the box, and. He wasn't like a frenetic box-to-box from what I saw, but he only had 30 minutes, and most of his passes, I thought, were, you know, on point, and uh, I, I would just want to see a bit more of him, but um, great goal, won us the game, awesome, great feeling, and yeah, so the main thing as well that I'm really happy about is the difference between, like, last season, Brennan Rogers throwing his players under the bus, saying that they're overachieving and you get the players he wanted like that's not going to motivate anybody like that that just that that all started wrong and Enzo's you can see he's winning these plays over he looks calm composed and he's getting a lot out of his youth and he's developing him and the players that he, the system that he wants he, he, it's he knows what he needs to do and he you got to we've backed him and we're going to keep seeing this progress forward and get better and better in my opinion it's going to click and about Four to six weeks. When we've had some time, we know who's going in and out, and it's established. And now we can move forward. Uh, all in all, really, really happy. And Ricardo Pereira and Harry Winks are massively important to how Enzo wants to play. And Harry Winks, if if he wasn't out, if he wasn't in, you would see. I think things like fall apart a little bit. That's how important I rate him. He does it all. He sets up everything. He's amazing in the mid middle, and we're so lucky we got him. But I also thought, you know, indeed he didn't have a bad game either. It's not his usual position, but I can't really fault him for anything. He was active. He got people involved, and um, it is a bit strange seeing him play there. But hey, he's playing better there than what he was in his, you know, usual role last season. He completely just, I can't believe how bad his form dropped off. It was really, really hard to see and. He was real, real important for those two seasons when we finished fifth. He was massive for those, like, and how we played. But that was then and this is now. So, will he stay? Uh, it appears so. But um, uh, Doyle, and I'm trying to not, like, fall in love with this lone ear again. But he looks like he's getting better every game. And I'm really, really rate him. So, yeah, meant to be a left back. We all know it's more of a back three with, again... Ricardo Pereira working as an inverted uh, right, inverted wing back, but he's he's some player. And we've also got even Yannick like had a good game. Like uh, his first half was a lot better, I thought, and um, it's clear to see that he's going to be that man in the middle, last man back. And um, what I think is <sighs> the only time we look vulnerable is on the counter attack. We we play that, you know really progressive football where we're kind of overloading on the other side. And if the if, if there's a counter and he's the last man back, we all know he's quite slow. And uh, going back to that panic before, it would have been good to have, you know, where Connor Cody is going to be is his position when he comes back in the back mid. And that last sort of man back and that voice, you know, calm down, organize his team. So, but we didn't concede again, so... Can't, you can't really fault him, but I definitely think that the system that we're seeing of Enzo is going to work much more effectively with uh, Connor Cody, and it's all you know, Mads Hermans and Connor Cody, Harry Winks, Ricardo Perez, that rule. They're the most important one at the back and setting everything up going forward, so that's how I think he wants to play. It's quite obvious, but um, what do I know? But that's all I see, and uh, we get into uh, Vardy and uh, Brighton. Uh... Oh, Brighton definitely, you know, didn't get long, but 
If he's going to be that sub later on, it's definitely going to complement Vardy. We, do, we all know he loves that long cross in. Vardy gets that ball over, run, and uh, hopefully slot one. But probably not going to be what everyone's thinking, you know, a 15, 20 plus, you know, goal season for him. Going to see him come in most of the same times, 70 minutes onwards. And uh, all the subs as well have from uh, Enzo Maresca have all been, I feel like, at the right time and also uh, made a positive impact on the game. They've never been negative, Rob right? thought, oh, why'd you do that? But again, it's only been three games, but I just feel like he's been effective and sure of what he wants to do and assertive at all times. So... This is great. I'm really happy about this game. Uh, if you can't really tell, I've said it about 50 times, but it's just so therapeutic almost after what we went through the last season. And um, let's just uh, hopefully this keeps moving forward. And um, yeah, if you like this video, please like and subscribe. And I will catch you at a match preview for Rotherham later in the week. Have a good one.